It's alright if you play every day. In fact, I think I have some. Um, forget, I think you can go up here and do it. Of course, you can just. Yeah. I think mean, it's. Okay, it's not alright. Wait. I was marking these off as I go. I don't know. Like that to up here. Okay, that's an interesting way to do your crates. It means that if you buy the crate enough and get the crate enough, you'll eventually get all those. But uh, why is the military crate better than special crate? Oh, there's a plan for the actual. Machine gun in there. Some skins. Not that I care. Um. Yeah. So it's like the little hub they give you. None of this really matters once you access one of these. I think you can just. There's a button you can just bring it up, right? I still find that hilarious. Um. Okay. There isn't a button you use to bring it up, but like once you interact with one, you don't need to run around the house. Uh, Battle Pass level 3. I got nothing. Um, yeah, so it has a Battle Pass. Um, with like its own fair shit. Uh, I guess this is where you get the majority of your crowns because you can't get multiple things of, of crowns without getting all the rest in the box. Complete, at least from the common. Um, shit, I get. Oh, it's just a special issue crate. I thought, this was, yeah, I thought it was that gold crate, but it's just this is a special issue. Crazy great. So, you can get some decent crates, I guess, just from playing the game. But at the same time, they're actually, they actually seem like they're going to give you more than most Battle Royale games for your time. But you have to imagine, like, I'm only level 3. Uh, I've only put in a few matches worth, um, and I'm not going in and like murdering everyone. Uh, so I guess maybe the, the distribution of wealth with the things is all right. But if you think about it, maybe setting up for bigger purchases, 25 is all right. But for constantly wanting to get uh, those boosters, 25 ain't crap. You need 60 for uh, for the uh, thing. Um, I haven't even looked at the price yet. Um, and you just kind of upgrade the shelter um, as you go. Um, what is this? Crafting time. And so. So this whole thing is basically just about gathering one supply of nails. The only thing nails are used for is for uh, your material generation now. Um, they have something that actually produces crowns. Well, look at how minuscule that uh, that crown production production is. Electronics are easy to find. Um, Three point six. Jesus, look how stingy that growth is. And, and you know how many electronics for it take. Just get a level two. They'll probably make it increase every time. Um, yeah, in the end, max upgrading it only increases that generation by less than double. <laughs> less than double the crown generation, and that's a day. That is, that is shit. Um, the cu hey. customization is less than ideal. Um, apparently you have a weapon skin. I don't know. I don't know where I got it, but I got it somewhere. Uh, what is their crowns like? The fuck? Okay, no, this game is terrible. The the race on their crowns is terrible. Four thousand is okay, but they're giving us. What's straight up? They don't have straight up thousands. It's just 
Some one thousand. So, oh Jesus. Like I think Minecraft's or not Minecraft though. Um. Oh, that's just kind of. Yeah. Like if you think about it, sixty. Sixty is one one loop covering, and that's if you get good loot. I mean, it's the more loot you get, the better. Um. So, 60 is, this is enough for, what, 120? This is enough for three, I don't think it's even enough for four loot covers. And that's five fucking dollars. Like, oof. Like, it, if it was like a dollar per a hundred, it might be nice, but it's more like, it's more like, you know, cents. Like each coin is worth multiple cents. I don't know. I don't. I don't like they're giving out to small. Like they should give out way more if uh, if they're they're worth that much. They're going to be charging that much. But yeah, I don't know. It's all it's all fucky. Um. Um. But yeah, they could have had something great here, maybe with the buildings and shit. Um, but uh, I forget the electronic generator. These gains from just deconstructions. So there's like all this stuff you can get, but in the end, this this uh this hub world. If I'm gonna be honest with you, it's kind of boring. You know, you got your target range. Out here and then like this up to go up to and collect from. But at the end of the day, like it's just a shooting range and it's an upgradable base. Um I mean it's serviceable, but you know, I don't I don't see why this had to be a thing. Uh unless like your unless your player party members can hang out here with you. I don't I haven't tried that. Um, but, uh, I don't know, I guess it's, it is kind of your, like, your three-game lobby. Uh, so there's nothing really wrong with that. Um, sometimes it's just, like, I'd much rather, there, there's other games I'd rather play other than this, I think. Um. Why would you <laughs> in the game gives you freaking gives you a fucking gun but doesn't reload it for you when you go to the shooting range? Five seconds reload your gun. You want me to do the shooting too? Ah, fuck. Anyways, I'll just show you what we're at. Oh, I fly so I to kill them, but chances are I'm just gonna get my world destroyed. Probably buy some Chad with a fucking purple SMG or something like that. Um, one thing my friend told me before going into this, um, he compared it to Saves from Tarkov, which I think is a fair assessment, because it's essentially the same thing. Do your thing, get out, if you die, lose your weapons. Same gameplay concept, but way different. In execution, I would say, because of the no quest thing, um, and I, I, so I think just knowing about Escape from Tarkov also kind of ruins this game. I am working on building my PC, but I have run some problems um, when I was working on it. So basic guns, basic guns. This person's gonna murder anyone they see um, because they have a real a sniper rifle and a compact magnum, which probably do a lot of damage. AKM is probably gonna murder me too, because it's not like it's starter weapons. SKS could probably murder me. This guy is just, you know, half heartedly wanting to kill someone. These two people can murder me probably straight up. I don't know how well this Thompson does. I just know that the pistol was terrible. The shotgun, I got killed before I could use it. Um. 
Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best. Explore the points of interest to get familiar with the area. There is usually good loot there. The problem with me is I don't like feeling that my time is wasted. So like, I, more often than not, I wanna, I wanna leave as soon as I get a mediocre all, all loot. Um, what the fuck is this? Dude, just got some rare ammo from parts. Um, and an assault rifle. Now you're talking. Now I want to leave. Where is this bad guy out? I actually see them shooting. I think they're shooting. Um, one thing I've had problems with is fall damage. I really wish there wasn't fall damage in this game. Don't think we should go over there. The radio tower is right here. Um, so I think with the radio tower they can choose the drop zone. Um. And, uh. So it's generally a place for people to go first. I think they might be really good. Be um, I was in there once. I died for it. I didn't even know what it was really. And then, but when I obviously when I was there, I was like, oh, you can interact. So you the drop so it's, and it's also once you change the drops, everyone knows. They're giving all that up. Um, there's these also, also these radio beacons that can that are just kind of randomly placed on the map. It might be just one of them in the map, but once they interact with them, you can see everyone on the map for like a few, a few, a few seconds. It's nothing major, but enough to where if someone wants to find you and kill you, they got your position. Um, so people are just dying left and right out there. Um, I said I wanted to fight people, but then I got a assault rifle I can't get out of the position. Someone knows where I can know where I am. I to Someone closed the door before they left. Safe is being unlocked. I don't know what that means. If I'm gonna be straight up. I believe maybe it's one safe spawns in the map or something of that nature. Um but I honestly don't know. The uh I'm gonna go over there. I honestly don't have that much. Hey look nails. But all in all, like, it's a somewhat uh, unrewarding experience. Um, there's nothing really too uh, compelling about upgrading a base that just gives you ever so slightly minor benefits. Um, I just can't say I like it that much. Um, and I'll look at this house. Last house, nothing. This house, something. Um, also, you can only carry as many weapons as you have slots. Which means if you come with weapons and you find weapons, you have to get rid of weapons. Which is, uh, feels a little bad in my mind. You should. I feel like you should be able to uh, take your weapons. And then get more weapons. I feel like that's uh, you know, like you want to come in fully quick kit kitted, and then you, you you might get punished by not being able to take back weapons. So I guess never come in fully uh, kitted. Maybe Korean come in with one weapon might be the best thing to do. Look, I got ammo for my Tommy gun now. This is basically nothing. Alright, 
Can I get that? Uh, those ammo. What's the clip size in this? Holy shit. Uh, last time I was out, uh, out in an area like this, I broke my legs. I was... I was like, oh no. This is... Or, uh, yeah. I don't know. And, uh, all in all, I feel like this game is pretty bland. Um, hopefully I'm not going to have a PC pick, but I can see the size of the CPU. Um, apparently there's more than one of those that you can use it multiple times. I've only ever seen it activated once in a match. Ah, oh, fuck. I wish there wasn't a sprint bar as well. Alright. Anyways, y'all have a nice